Hello everybody and welcome to today's vlog. Now as promised a couple of weeks ago, today we are doing a horse taste test. So in the blue corner we have Windy and William. So Windy is an ex-racer. She is 13 years old. She raced as a three-year-old and then she went on to be a broodmare. And then about three, four weeks ago, she came to live with us where she's now being retrained, hopefully as a rider. So yay, go blue team. <laughs> In the red team, we have Madge. Now we don't have an exact age for Madge, but she is over the age of 30. She is a Percheron cross. And as well as being an ex-rider, because she's fully retired now, she is also a drive horse, so she is a cart horse. One of the things about Madge as well is that she was in the film and TV industry, so she's also very famous and has been on things like Peaky Blinders, Sense and Sensibility and the War Horse documentary, as well as being a hunter hireling and lots of other things to her name as well. And Madge's special thing, apart from biting humans, is a pint of Guinness, isn't it, darling? You love the Guinness. Right, so let's have a look at the foods. Now, before anybody gets their knickers in a twist, we have checked all of these foods. So we have a standard stuffed muffin horse treat. So these are what you would buy in any equestrian shop and they are a proper horse treat. Here we have from the Chinese yesterday some prawn crackers. It is perfectly safe for them to have a couple, but not many because they are made out of fat. But a little bit won't hurt them at all. That's if they'll eat them. We've also got some celery, cucumber, radishes, apple, grapes, and that's it. So the rules are this the horse has to not just put it in its mouth, not just chew it but it has to swallow it as well. Now, one thing I will point out as well, I'm probably better pointing it out to Windy. They have got a little bit of white on their muzzles. They are perfectly fine. There is nothing wrong with them. We have just wormed them about 45 minutes ago, which is why we're now gonna give them a treat because they've been so good being wormed. We have the boys over here, but they're still traumatized from being wormed and so far. They still won't take anything from our hands, so probably best that we don't include those. So girls, it is because you're way more sensible, aren't you? You're way more sensible. Right, let's get the first one. So I think we should start with radishes. Remember, they have to eat them all, every single one, and it has to go down in one go. And they have to keep it in their mouth. Num, 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 num. Well, I think that's a one. You score one there. Good girl, Windy. And here we go, Madge. Num, 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 num. Oh, yeah. I think that's gone already. Good girl. One each. That is awesome. I think next we should go on to cucumber. Now, I know cats are scared of cucumber because we've... We've done that before, where cats are scared of cucumber. Our horses. No, that's gone in. Mmm, num, num, num. All done. Not even an issue. Madge. Cucumber Madge. And gone. Definitely gone. Yeah, yeah. 2-2 two, two. Two, two. So far so good The next one Celery I love this with a bit of salt on mm, mm, mm. That doesn't seem to be causing too many havocs Now obviously we could have gone thing for things like carrots But we know that all of our horses eat carrots So that would be boring Whereas these things they don't tend to get very often Celery match Yes uh-huh yeah gone i think this is a little bit too easy i can't actually wait till we get to the prawn crackers because so far they're just greedy apples next this is the best day in madge's life ever look at that mm -mm -mm -mm. it's gone madge wants some apple 
I think you were built for this kind of challenge, weren't you, Madge? Look at the size of your belly. An eating challenge. Mm. Amazing. Right, what have we got next? Grapes. Now, I'm not sure that they'll eat grapes. Have we had grapes in these two before? I don't know. I don't know either. There we go. Oh, this isn't an issue, is it, with these girls? We, whatever we are, we're drawing. There's not one of them spat anything out yet. Gone. Gone. Right. Well, I think before we do the wild card of the prawn crackers, we ought to do the stud muffins. So these stud muffins are, oh, it says made with love with linseed and fenugreek. Never heard of it. But it's nice that it's made with love. And I believe you can get these literally in any equestrian shop. Oh, let's see whether or not Wendy eats it. Gone. Gone. And Madge. Gone. So now, the decider. It is neck and neck. The blue team and the red team. Now we have the prawn cracker. Who will eat the prawn cracker? Oh, we're littering. There's things flying everywhere. Now I'm not sure about this. I'm don't not sure. Up. No, don't break it up. That's not the idea thing. Oh, 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 a bit shocked there. A bit shocked. Oh, it's stuck to the lip, stuck to the lip. <gasps> Spat a bit out, spat a bit out. Licking, licking. Oh, try her again with it. She might want it. Was that a strange texture? <gasps> I think that's a refusal. I think that's a refusal. No, that's definitely a refusal, William. Don't make her eat it if she doesn't want to. That must have been a strange texture. Madge, it is all on you. Are you the eating champion? Oh! Well, you've eaten some of it. Yes! Madge has won! Team cart horse over team race horse. The red horse or redhead collar anyway, over the blue horse, wins. That is fantastic! Thank you so much for watching. We know that this one's a little bit silly, but we did want to treat the horses after giving them a worm because it is horrible for them to eat. Thank you so much for watching. We will be back every Thursday or sooner. Take care and we hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.